Hey, I'm Nut. I've done some of these dating shows before and everyone said that I was really, really good at it. So now, I'm here to help some of my friends who are bad at it. This is Love Versus Nut. We are here now with my first client, Jess. You guys might know Jess from the one Riz video we did. Hi. Oh, hey. So in case you forgot, my name's Jess, but you can call me mommy. I'm not, no, I'm not gonna keep you So why are you here? Well, I feel like I'm not doing a good job. Despite how the videos went, you're very good at, at rizzing. I feel like you're very direct. And I think you going in with fresh eyes, I think you'll be able to suss out these, these dudes. What's your usual type in a man? I like guys that have by wife energy, if that makes sense. I like typically go for guys that look like they eat cigarettes. I like men with golden retrievery energy, but like a chill golden retriever. I don't know, okay. So you're looking for a bisexual <laughs> dog who eats cigarettes? I guess, cool. This is gonna go really well. So I have three dogs, by the way. So you're looking for another dog. It's like if my dog likes you and you're in my dog's home, like she's the boss. If a guy's got like a, weird like like a ponytail or something. Is there like a something that is a turn off? I actually really like long hair. Oh, I, I was just doing a hypothetical. Oh, well, right. but I, I do like that. And I also have a thing for hands. I like nice hands. So they have to have hair and hands. Yes. I would say something I don't like is I don't like fitness guys. Like if you have like so many abs or like a lot of muscles, it's just kind of aggressive. Like relax, buddy. Yeah, it's like calm down. What do you? Exactly. Yeah. I, I agree. That's why I don't I don't out. run unless I'm being chased, so. How often are you being chased? <laughs> I live. <laughs> it's a, oh, it's LA. It's LA. Oh my god, okay, cool. So someone who is not good at running and doesn't work out and has hair and hands. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be super easy. All right, let's bring in the boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's so many men. <laughs> All right, men, we'll just go down a line and introduce yourselves. Maybe throw in something you like about Jess. Yes, sir. Let's start it off. Hi, my name's Axel Jared. Hi. Nice to meet you, Jess. I love your smile. Hi, my name's AJ. I like your all black. I'm a huge all black guy. So, yeah, we can match it. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Zeus. I really love your eyes. Thank you. God damn. You too, bro. Thanks, man. Zeus, that's a, you look like a Zeus. Hi, I'm Jesse. Hi. I love your name. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Joseph, I like your stance. This stance right here, that foot stance right here. Is I doing is, that? Yeah, you're doing that the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> like an NPC? <laughs> What's up? How you doing? I'm Rose Bud. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I definitely love your whole style and everything. Um, my dad's a designer, so I definitely love the whole fashion mixed with the chains and everything. And I love your sarcasm too, bro. <laughs> I was just being normal. Hi. I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love that you're also dead inside. I appreciate that. <laughs> I am too. Maybe I'm just dead inside. You got <laughs> blue ass eyes. Thank you. Yeah. It's genetic. I would imagine. I'm Oscar. Nice to see you again. Uh, it's I'm, Moss Guy. Love your eyeshadow. Super blue, super cute. So what's the Moss Guy? Um, it's from when I was pretending to be a virgin. I like to collect moss in my free time and... Moss. Like the, like like a like plant. the plant, yeah. You look like you have sex a lot, actually. <laughs> so much. I, I did tell him in that oh, video, man. I was like, you need to find a moss maiden. I don't know what that means. You can go back. <laughs> my name is Orda Seagull. Oh. Oh. I was gonna say eyeshadow too, because my favorite color is blue, but I do love um, your hair. Yeah. You're in the same beautiful smile. Thank you. Of course. I really like everything going on. I love your eyes. Very beautiful. Thank your you. Teeth. Yeah. Thank you. You look like me, but like better. <laughs> <laughs> we're like twins. Okay. Like, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> all right, so you just met all these men. Initial thoughts. What are you thinking? Is there anyone who you were like, no? Yeah, I, I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm like, how did they get all of you? You're all really good looking. There's some familiar faces in the crowd. How many familiar faces are here? Two. So, so that guy, Moss Man? Uh-huh. And this one. You guys know each other? We went on a date. Sort of, it was yeah. a good date. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why was there not another date? Or, I mean, not to air you out. Or, oh, there's yeah. time for more dates. That was a good answer. <laughs> that was what's up. Hey, is everything okay? This person has been spamming me with messages for days. They keep saying that they're in love with me. It's nuts. 
Oh, wow, are you going to reply? I think I need to cut it off. I'm just trying to focus on loving myself right now. It's been kind of difficult though, priorities, you know? Well, have you considered what self-love really means for you? I would, but I just don't know how. Well, I have just the thing for you. Go check out Lilo. The timing is perfect because they have some great Black Friday deals right now to help you explore what self-love means for you. Oh, and let me text you this real quick. Use code Jubilee5 for an extra 5% off your next Lilo purchase, even on discounted items. <laughs> I am so into this. Thank you so... <sighs> Wait a second. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much, Lilo, for sponsoring this episode. Let's get back into it. Well, now you've met the men, I guess, before I choose who you should go out with, write down the name of one of these men that you think you would choose. Ooh. Strong eye contact, boys, really work it right now. This is your chance. All right, the pick is in. Now it's time for the elimination. I gotta pick three guys. And this is hard, because I think they're all great. Zach? It was just really good eye contact and I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you have beautiful eyes. Thank you. Not Hi. but you have beautiful soul. Alright, well. <laughs> uh Moss Man. I didn't remember everyone's names, but I remembered Moss Man. Okay. Yeah. Bye. But I think you're great. Congrats on having had sex before. The final elimination. Rosebud, I'm sorry. Rose, oh, I'm sorry. All right, man. But I think you're really cool and you have a cool name. No problem, G. I like your personality. I like your person. Now I feel that was, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, Jess, I just took away three of your men. How are you feeling? I'm glad that you had to do it and not me. They were really good looking and great, but there's also a lot of good looking and great guys still standing here. For round two, I'm gonna be interrogating these men one on one. Jess is in the back room. She's got noise canceling headphones on. She can't hear a thing and I'm gonna judge them. Hello, sir. How's it going? Good, sir. My man. How's it going? The hat looks necessary. Thank you, that was a good handshake. Firm, I try to be as firm as possible. You seem like a firm guy. How are you? God damn, that was a good handshake too. God damn. Right off the bat, you're a great looking guy. Thanks. You remind me a lot of myself. <laughs> I'm getting like Australian? What's the, where's the close. accent? I was close. close. New Try Zealand. Again. New Zealand. There you go. First of all, what are your intentions with uh, Jess over there? Uh, you know, see where it goes. That's why I'm here. You know, see what's if we uh, connect. It's just to get to know her, see if the connection is, if we have a genuine connection, if we can have fun together. Honestly, I'd probably like use her to fill a void I feel inside when I'm alone. Oh, okay. Um, what do you do for work? I work in a restaurant. I'm a server, bartender, That's and what's manager. Up. I teach kickboxing. I do private training and I also compete myself. How quickly do you think you could like beat me up? If we were in a situation, say okay, say you were harming Jis, right? Boom, okay, you came along and you were like attacking Jis and wow. I had to protect, right? This is the great. only one that could do something about it. Probably 3.5 seconds. I wouldn't do that, but okay. Uh, I do OnlyFans. That's hard. No pun intended. Oh, man, that's what's up. How does one get into that uh, uh, profession? Date a porn star. Oh, so you dated a porn star, you said? Yeah, for a little bit. She was like 45. That... She's in the Hall of Fame of... of I'm getting good porn. vibes from you. I feel like Jess would like you a lot. I think that you guys would get along very well. First of all, yeah. let me see your hands. Just put them out. Their hands, that's... You want to see, do you see the middle fingers? Oh, your, your fingers are all messed up. What's, yeah. what's going on there? Oh, uh, well, I'm a juggler and a gymnastics, but I played college soccer. I was a goalie. Wait, wait, can we put them? God damn, yes. okay, I wish I hadn't done that. Also, how do you feel about dogs? Love dogs, dogs are great. Would you kiss a dog? I do kiss dogs appropriately. I've never took, taken care of one, never had one, never been responsible for one, but I love them. I like to look at them and cuddle. My favorite animal is uh, tigers, but I mean, dogs are just as cool. I like German Shepherds and Golden Retrievers. Okay. That's it. But uh, not any of the other ones? No. I have a brother, Clyde. He's like 80 something. What? He's a beagle. A beagle? You have a brother who's 85? Yeah. He has like big long ears. Oh, it's your dog. Yeah. Okay. I have or, two. You have two dogs? I have two pugs. Two pugs? That's, they have heart problems. Breathing problems also. I was like, what's going on with that? Oh, but it's adorable though. Would you juggle right now? If I had things to juggle, I definitely would juggle right now. Do we have balls? What uh, is your relationship history? This is crazy. I'm definitely like an old school romantic, so I love going on 
like romantic dates, surprise. I like surprise dates. So I've like surprised the exes to ooh, Disneyland. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. I haven't had a relationship in about three years, four years. You say you're back on the market? Uh yeah. I was in a fraternity, so I'm kind of like for the streets. I've been for the streets for a minute. I've only had like one girl that's like I was kind of serious with, and that was probably like two years ago. But you're like looking to settle down now, you think? Uh, I'm uh, interested, but I don't know, we'll see. Are you ready to commit to Jess? That is the question right there. I did ask it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we just, we don't know? No. Yeah, I'm a long-term relationship guy. I don't believe in like the whole like hookup culture kind of thing and like, I just wanna find connections and build off of that and maintain that. That's sounds like LinkedIn. Oh yeah. What do you like to do for fun? What's your, do you got other things going on? I go to church, my friend. Time in the Word, time in the Bible, prayer, hanging out with friends. These things are you know important to me and that's what I try to cram as much free time as I have. I try to cram it with as much. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like to paint. What type of stuff do you paint? Like Bob Ross, literally just, I just copy his. For like nature and shit? The whole thing, yeah. So you, do you like going outside into like nature? Or yeah, whatever? yeah, I like to go to the beach and I literally paint the sunset. Where were you on January 6th, 2021? Fuck, I don't know, I'd have to look at my phone. <laughs> hey, you figure it out later. Is she, do you think like historically, like your type? Yeah, I would say. So I either like blonde chicks or chicks that have blue eyes. And she has blue eyes, so. Does she have blue eyes? Oh. Yeah. So if you had to like categorize yourself as like a type of guy, what type of guy do you think you are? I think I'm the, the nice guy. But not a manipulator. Oh no, I, I don't believe in playing games. What about like 2K or yeah. that's what's up? Yeah. He's just like me, okay cool. <laughs> <laughs> no games, but some games. I think I'm like a gentleman and very thoughtful. I'll say I'm a, a lit guy. You're a lit guy? Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. So you mentioned you were on OnlyFans. Let's say hypothetically, like Jess was trying to find your like OnlyFans. Like she was trying to find, she was obsessed with it or whatever. Mm -hmm. How would she find it? Uh, Twitter, at Jack Off Harlow. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen. Thank you for talking with me. I enjoyed all the conversations. Unfortunately, I do have to eliminate four of you. First one, Axel. It was the void thing. Yeah. Kind of scared me. I do not appreciate it. The next person I'm going to eliminate, I think Jess wants something more long-term, AJ. I'm sorry, and I would hang out. I'm down. That's, see, I gained it. So, okay. <laughs> the next person I'm choosing to eliminate, I think mostly just because of religious differences, I would say Joseph. But you seem like a chill, fun guy. Please don't hurt me. You said 3.5 seconds. I'm like watching my, so, okay. I am eliminating this last person just based off of what Jess said is more like her type, Zeus. You kind of give me like a, Ronnie from Jersey Shore vibe. <laughs> and I think you're cool. Congratulations, big three. You guys are going to the next round. So Jess, we're down to the final three men. I tried to pick some cool guys for you. Now, since it's the last round, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna set up some meet cute improv situations. You guys have to act like it's the first time you've ever met. Okay. And I guess we'll just see how it goes. First setting, Jess is sitting at a bar and there's like a weird guy sitting next to her and she kind of needs like an escape. And action. Hey, it's so good to see you again. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, my friend that I've known for so long. Yeah, oh my gosh, hi. So how have you been? I've been so good. Also though, the guy's like really buff and like kind of maybe a little like intimidating. Is he just looming? Like, does he go away? He just stays there? I guess, uh, yeah, he left, I guess. <laughs> and you're thankful, you're grateful. Oh, okay. yeah, I am. Thank you so much for saving me oh. from the super oh weird no, buff yeah. dude. Oh no, yeah, got you. It was yeah. like super aggressive. I'm Jesse. Jess. Nice to meet That's you. That's easy to remember. Right. What do you like to do? My passion is I love playing music. And okay. so like whenever I'm doing that, I, I pour my whole heart and soul into that. 
Um, do you cry a lot? No. <laughs> Why not? Do I get the cry vibes? I don't know, maybe you're just really sensitive. You know what's the weirdest thing that I always will be like, I don't have no idea why, is the movie Click with Adam Sandler. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, it's like towards the end, that's it's like weird. he's like getting older and just like he sees his, like his life's like going by and like flashing by and like. I cried to Ice Age. What was the, what <laughs> the, was the scene? scene? The cave scene? Oh, that's sad. Yeah, yeah okay. All right, wrap it up. We don't got all day here. But also when I'm not doing music, I'm hanging out with my, my two girls, my two pugs that I have. I have to tell you, dog. one of my dogs is like hates like snorty dogs. But what if my pugs don't like snort snort though? Levels? I've never met a pug that didn't snort. So <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> well, I got two you should meet. Okay. Yeah. yeah hi. Get her number or something. Uh, here. Um, I. My phone. You should put your number in it. Okay. Yeah. Get out. Get the phone. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stealing your phone now. Leave. Oh. Oh, he just let me. Oh, he let me rob him. That was good. See, this worked out really well. That was nice. Jess, you guys are walking on the sidewalk. You're a stranger, and she just fell, and you're like, oh no, I should protect her or whatever. And action! Ow! <laughs> I, yeah? I think you fell. You think? I think you. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you fell. I did. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> Help. Let's get you up here. Oh, oh, oh. I got you, I got you. Oh, I just Oh totally no! Why are you hurting me more? This is good, this feels like a rom-com. Did I look really stupid falling? No, you did that. Are you lying? You did as good as you can. Is your knee bleeding? Yeah, oh, I'm no. bleeding a lot. I can use that. There we go. Do you, do oh, hold, you, hold, do you often or we can... have snacks in your pocket? Oh my god, your hands just touched. Thanks for um, saving me. Of course. Yeah. I'm still like bleeding a lot, but I'm sure this yeah. orange will help. Oh, Jess, you're running late to a concert that you are, that's why you fell, because you were rushing to make a concert. Do you, and you have an extra ticket? It's your favorite artist too? Maybe talk about that or something? I actually was rushing to catch uh, my favorite artist playing. That's crazy, because I was walking away from it because I didn't have a ticket. Who's the artist? Who's your favorite artist? Maybe you guys have that in common or something. Don't lie, also. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it's if, Ash Nico. Ash Nico. You don't know who that is. I can't wait to hear Ash Nico. <laughs> Who's yeah. your favorite artist? Um, I love Odessa. Okay. Yeah, Odessa. Sick. Yeah, they're fun. You get the dance. I just saw them. Are you two do weeks you ago. dance? Yes. Well, since I'm injured and oh, can't move. Yeah. Will, will you show me your best dance move? No, don't do this to me. Do you want the date or not, Arasu? Oh, okay. Um, Shake it. Here, can you can you sing for me then? A little bit of. Okay. That was get very it. vulnerable of you. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, Arasio, why are you even in town? Uh, what do you do for work? I am a photographer, so I was going to shoot Ash Nico, my favorite oh. artist. And, um, don't course. lie, you don't know her. I, I I don't know her, and the press the press pass wasn't. It was a wrong concert. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of venues around here. There is. They all look the same. All right, wrap it up. Go to the concert or whatever. Figure it out. Should we hobble to the concert? We can hobble. Okay. You can walk. Don't. I can't, I'm so hurt. She's been healed. Oh, it's a miracle! <laughs> Jess, you're at Starbucks and you just picked up a drink, but it was, wait, it says Forrest on it. You're not Forrest. Who's Forrest? How did that happen? And then you talk, or whatever, I don't, okay. <laughs> and action. Ooh, a drink. Why does this say Forrest? Oh, I think that one's mine. Your name is Forrest? Yeah, what's your name? Jess, your name's a lot cooler. Nice to meet you. This, here's your drink. Thank you. What, what'd you get? Oh, you have my drink. Oh, yeah, I have your drink. Uh, 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 the... <laughs> it's a venti vanilla something. Nailed it. Yeah, I was feeling spicy today. It's funny you mentioned that you're Sorry. feeling spicy. I think Forrest does spicy work for work. Maybe talk about that. What's so spicy about you? Um, I'm... Do like modeling for adults. Come on. <laughs> that involves new, new, new things. Okay. Yeah. Like what? You know. You know, you know, <laughs> you know the usual. You know. Wait, what's your handle? Well, yeah. I mean, you could follow me on Twitter if you want. I could get my phone. Can you hold one of the coffees? We just though? met, and you want me to look at your balls? No, no, no. Uh, you can get my number, and then we can like. Uh, and then go look at and your wiener. He's trying to be open, just be accepting. <laughs> okay, I'm accepting. Okay, I okay. would love to look at that. Actually, I don't have my phone. Maybe. I don't have my phone. Oh well, it's really easy to remember. It's Jack of Harlow. Do Harlow. you 
do the jacking or does someone else do it? I, I do it, yeah. Okay. Like from the comfort of your own home? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Make your own hours? Yep. Hard all day. Yeah. Just kidding. Hard no. work. <laughs> hard work all day. It's hard work. <laughs> so, have you ever seen the movie The Dark Crystal? No. What's that about? I mean this in the nicest way, but you remind me of one of the Gelflings, and it's really cute. <laughs> I need to see a picture. Wait. Is this the picture? Is this a bad thing? No, it's great. Okay. No, everybody loves him. It's a really no good movie. No way. Yeah. What is it? Is it like the, the ears? the cute nose and the ears and the eyes and the hair. And your name is Forrest and you probably like foresty things. I do like nature. Yeah. Yeah, I like being outside. Jim Henson classic. This is crazy. Oh, wait. Look, I found my phone. You could put your number in and then maybe we could go get more coffee sometime. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen you before. Aren't you an actress? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's dope. He was already following me. All right, wrap it up here. I'll, I'll catch you later sometime. This is good nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, gentlemen, we've laughed and we've cried, but there can only be one. With me here, I have two envelopes. The first one is my choice. I'm gonna give it to Jess, and then she's gonna show me her choice that she picked at the very beginning. And with me here, I have a $100 gift card to Buca de Beppo. <laughs> They asked me what my favorite food was. I said chicken parm. They wanted me to say this is my favorite restaurant. I don't know if I would go that far. Don't lie. So she's gonna mold these two options, and after that, she's gonna choose which person she wants to give this gift card to. All right, Jess, there is my choice. I chose this person because after the last uh, interview, I thought you guys had good chemistry, and I was getting some good vibes. Not a bad choice. Cool. All right. I guess I'll look at yours. It was based off of like physical first impression. I don't know if it is the right choice for me because I came to the expert, so I'm, I mean, I'm mulling it. Okay, well Jess, uh, you've seen your two options. Here's the gift card. It is up to you to decide if you want to pick your choice or my choice. Go at it. You're all really, really good looking. You're all very cool. I am going to go with Nut's choice. So I'm bad at dating. Mm -hmm. I came to the expert to help. I'm really good at it. But I also just think it's really, really funny that his name is Nut and you Nut on the first word. <laughs> and I just think it's really funny and I feel like I have to commit to the bit. Would you like to go to <laughs> Nut's favorite restaurant, Buco de Beppo, with me? I love Buco de Beppo. It's not my favorite restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, my choice was Forrest, and Jess's choice was Joseph. And I guess I will say, if this doesn't work out, uh, you know where to find her, the internet, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I'll tell you where she lives. I don't, I don't know that. Now it's time for post-nut clarity. What did you guys learn today? There's so many good-looking men around. I don't know where that you guys are all hanging out or hiding, but it's awesome. My place. <laughs> or wait, no, that... What did I learn today? Uh, I should maybe be a little more charismatic in conversations. You're the most charismatic, what are you talking about? <laughs> Joseph, million dollar question. Are you going to take her on a date? You could also just, a hundred bucks, you could eat. You could run dollars. away right now. Up to you. Oh, let's go eat. Okay. Yeah. This was Love versus Nut.